guys welcome back to another video thank you for joining me today uh it is the end of november it is um you know by the time this comes up it'll be probably in december and i wanted to put a quick review out there for you guys in case you are interested uh this was the first year that we actually ordered a ready cooked uh turkey from publix and i don't know if anyone else does it um probably Honey Bake Ham does it, maybe Kroger's, I'm not sure, but we decided this year, since we are a pretty small family, and uh, since I've been having a lot of remodeling uh, issues coming up around the house, at one point we didn't even have um, a facility as far as the kitchen is concerned. We were um, down in the water uh, for about two days without a stove and I didn't know around the holidays and of course I'm talking about Thanksgiving now um, how we would prepare for a Thanksgiving dinner so I told my husband let's go ahead and uh, bite the bullet and for the first time this year and I've never done this because I've always cooked my own turkey but to order a pre-ordered pre-cooked turkey from Publix uh, with the trimmings and see how it goes. Well, I wanna give you my honest review. Again, I'm not sponsored or anything. This was just a, a spur of the moment idea, but I wanted to put the review out there in case anybody wants to go ahead and order a turkey like this for their uh, Christmas or holiday uh, dinner or festivities, okay? Uh, so just a little background. I've done my own turkey every year. I get up early in the morning uh, on that day, on Thanksgiving morning. I usually have my turkey thawed out by then. It's about three or four days of thawing. Uh, I usually don't brine my turkey, but I do make sure it's all thawed out. And then I, you know, get to unpacking it, uh, washing it, uh, rinsing it, and um, putting salt on it and everything else. And I do leave it in a, uh, a pan inside the fridge for about an hour or so with some salt on it and all of the um, the spices that I need to have, okay? Uh, and I do spice it up. I put uh, adobo on it and I put some um, mojo uh, dressing on it. I usually put rosemary and pepper and, you know, all of that. I won't get into it, but you guys know how to dress your own turkey. I'm sure, you know, it's, it's kind of the same all around. But I do that and then, of course, we have like a four or five hour uh, bake that needs to go on and the basting and everything else it's a whole drawn out all day process so uh instead of doing all that and because like i said we were limited in our uh, kitchen environment i went ahead and uh, told my husband to put in the order uh, for the turkey for Publix and he did do that he put it in about four days four or five days before Thanksgiving to make sure that they would have enough turkeys and you know they wouldn't be sold out uh, we they did ask uh, the number of servings and we really were down to about three people possibly four uh, for our immediate family in our household. And I believe that uh, the serving that we ordered, so the turkey size uh, was for four to six uh, servings or people. And uh, that turned out to be about a 10 or 11 pound turkey. I think it was, it was 10 pounds and change. Uh, it came in a, a plastic wrap. It was uh, an airtight type of plastic wrap and it was uh, chilled but it was uh, fully cooked on the uh, turkey itself. It said fully cooked, and it was a butterball turkey. I do want to emphasize that, that it was the butterball brand turkey. Uh, along with it came two tubs, and it was, a, I would say, probably a pound. It, it was pretty big. It was like maybe about that big of a vat of uh, mashed potatoes, and uh, stuffing. So we got those two sides. I don't think that you can get any other type of sides. I think those are the only two sides that it comes with. It also came with a fairly large tub about this big. And I'll, and I'll try to put some pictures here on the side of you know, the various uh, things that I'm talking about. A pretty big tub of uh, gravy that was already done, uh, the Publix gravy. And it did come with some sort of a dessert which honestly we never got to we're not big dessert people it was something like a oh i'll have to i'll have to read it and put it over here for you guys it was like a marshmallow 
fruity kind of weird weird thing again in a tub it wasn't a pie we had bought a uh, a pumpkin pie off the side we you know as a uh, outside of the order process uh, just because we like pumpkin pie and that's what we wanted to have anyway for dessert but it did come with that um thing whatever that dessert was in case you wanted it you know um the total price for everything uh was 45 dollars which uh we were like hmm, okay 45 dollars. that's not a big big deal you know um it's fine we'll we'll pay that what really surprised all of us is really how much food we had for 45 dollars. i mean once we started to carve up the turkey and once we uh put the sides out and everything and we started eating it for three people i mean we have turkey leftover turkey for two to three days that's how much turkey we have uh the turkey when we put it into the oven i think it uh we cooked it for about an hour and a half it uh, told us to cook it for about that time we have a uh, a pan that has like a rack built built into it not built into it because it comes out but it's um uh, you know the the kind you know you put the the ham or the turkey on there and then underneath it 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 kind of shoves it up by about an inch or two so it's off the pan it's not resting in the pan uh my son put some chicken stock under there we didn't have any carrot we should have put some carrots or potatoes or something underneath and that would have been fine but we really didn't do anything um, i'm telling you we kept it really simple 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 and we just put the chicken stock under it and then we put it in the oven and baked it on like i think it was like 375 for about an hour hour and a half we did not um did not baste it i took it out one time to look it didn't really have enough liquid to base in fact we added a little more chicken stock under it so that it wouldn't dry out and we just stuck it back in the oven and we continued the cooking process so i didn't know what to expect i really really didn't know this was a complete experiment for us and you know worst comes to worst we would have had dried out turkey and whatever you know we would have dealt with it and just not done it again well to our amazement and I'm not kidding you. This was one of the tenderest turkeys I have ever eaten. And I am very, very picky with my turkey. I want it to be really good. The gravy was excellent. The mashed potatoes were a little watery to my taste. Um, when we took them out of the oven, uh, we did put some extra butter on it and kind of stirred it all up. But they were a bit mushy um i wasn't very on a scale of one to ten i would give them mashed potatoes maybe a four or five so i wasn't too happy with that the uh the stuffing was you know average i would give that out of a ten i would give that probably a six and a half or seven it came with kind of a crust on the top more of a uh bread type of crumbs type of crust on it again not my favorite but we dealt with it my my son is not a um a stuffing person at all so he didn't really even touch it my husband thought it was good and we put gravy on it so it was okay uh the so the sides were just i would say just okay if you want to forego the sides um I, I mean it comes with it so you know either use it or not to whatever you know but um next year i would probably stick to my own sides and just make my own sides but definitely still get the turkey the turkey could not be beat i mean it was out of a out of a 10 i would give it a solid nine nine and a half seriously it was that that good it just fell off the bone as we were carving it it was juicy it was tender uh it was just absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful and i've got two guys here that are pretty picky eaters uh and they have grown up well my son has you know he's 22 and he has grown up with mom's turkey so for him to say that it is just as good as mine uh that was a huge huge uh you know i kind of like resented it but in a way but i i was like okay with it that he said that it was really really good enough to to get to the caliber of my turkey so anyway i just wanted to pass it along to you guys 
like I said, we paid about $45 for a four to six serving. I am sure if you have a bigger, uh, you know, more people out there, it'll be a little bit uh, more expensive. Uh, I, I guess it goes by the pound of the turkey. Uh, I'm sure when you get into the teens of the turkey, it's probably, you know, 60 or something dollars. I'm not sure. You'll have to check online. But um, that's all I wanted to convey to you. I hope this review has been helpful. And if you're getting ready to have your Christmas dinner and you're in the mood for a turkey and you're not in the mood for slaving over a hot stove for about four or five hours and prepping everything, um, what I found to me is that if I would do this again and I would do my own sides, it would open up the time for me to do my sides better, the sides that I like to make, or if you wanna go ahead and bake, you know, or do a cheesecake or a pumpkin cheesecake or um, uh, bake anything or you do your green bean casserole or anything else, you know, save your time for your sides and then don't worry about the turkey. The turkey will get done. It's already done. It's, it's flavorful. People will love it and just uh, put your energy, is what I'm saying, into cooking your sides and also into being with your family, which is the most important thing for the holiday season. So I hope this has been helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and share it, please, because that's how I get uh, rankings in uh, YouTube, by sharing it along and giving it a thumbs up. And comment back to me on if you have tried a Publix turkey and how you liked it and uh, if you would do it again. And I certainly will be doing it again, maybe I probably won't do it for Christmas because I have got some other things in mind for that. Um, so I'll probably be doing something else for Christmas. But definitely I will be keeping this in mind for an annual uh, dinner. So I love you all guys. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs>